Hello students, in this video we'll begin our discussion of curves. A curve is the image of a mapping R, which is a vector, which takes a real valued input and outputs a value in R3 or R2. We can say R3 or R2. And so in particular, what we can do is we can say, okay, well, we can write down some examples of curves. So all we have to do is write down a function. So what we could do is we could say R of t, I inputted parameter t, is t i hat plus t squared j hat. And I'll specify the range of my input parameter, t between 0 and 1. This is an example of a curve. And let's get our hands around what this curve looks like. Well, the i component is our variable x, and our j component is our variable y. So this curve, there's a relationship between x and y, namely y, for this curve, y is equal to x squared. Now, we know the graph of y equals x squared is a parabola, but what I've done here is I've restricted the range of t, so that restricts the range of x. So for to plot this curve, Here's our x-axis and here's our y-axis. What we'll do is we'll have to plot our curve in real time. So when t is equal to 0, if we have r of 0, for example, r of 0 is 0 i hat plus 0 j hat. So at time 0, we start at the origin. At time 1, we end at the point 1 i hat plus 1 squared j hat. And so what we'll do is from time 0 to time 1, we will trace out this parabola. So our curve looks like this. It's not the full parabola, it's just this part of it over here. Now curves are interesting because we can reparameterize them. I could, for example, write down another curve. I could write down r of t is t squared i hat plus t to the fourth j hat for t between 0 and 1. And now, likewise, we can conclude from this that r of 0 is 0 i hat plus 0 j hat, and r of 1 is 1 i hat plus 1 j hat. So I'm starting and ending at the same points, and in fact, if this is my x over here and this is my y over here, then on this curve we also know that y is equal to x squared. So I'm on the same exact parabola, and so if I was to plot this curve on a graph, what I would see is the following. Here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis. I would have the exact same curve, but this curve would move a little bit slower. Because if t is between 0 and 1, t squared is much less than t. So these curves have different speeds. So these curves, even though they look exact, the image is exactly the same, they trace out at different speeds. These trace out at different speeds. And this simple example shows us as a remark, there are many ways, namely infinite many ways, to parameterize a curve. And all of these parameterizations will have different speed. They will all. have different speed. And so for example, we can note that most functions we see in calculus can be parameterized by a curve. So if we look at this example, if I look at the curve r of t, I input a t, I'll look at t i hat plus f of t j hat for any value of t, t between negative and infinity and infinity. Well, this curve over here represents the function. So if this is my y over here, and this is my x, then I know that y is equal to f of x. 
So the graph of every function can be represented by a curve. I can also do many other parameterizations of this. For example, what I could do is I could say r of t is t cubed i hat plus f of t cubed j hat. This curve also represents the same exact function. It represents or it traces out the function at a different speed. So in future videos, we'll talk about the notion of speed of a curve and see how we can standardize a curve's image by making it a unit speed curve. Thank you very much.